The Abuja School of Social and Political Thought has commenced the second Ario Dari Atoye Memorial Election Reform Series with the theme, Presentation of a National Action Plan for Electoral Reform. Atoye, a tireless advocate for justice, democracy and accountability, sadly passed away from lung cancer on October 27, 2022. In a presentation at the event, the executive director of the Abuja School, Professor Sam Amadi, stressed that Nigeria can no longer afford to play politics with electoral reform. He emphasized that the country's democracy depends on the quality of its future elections. Professor Amadi also stated that achieving credible elections will require radical reforms to the security and judicial systems, particularly in their roles related to the electoral process. When the electronic transmission was rejected at uh, the Senate then, I said that they would, not, they would never sign this. So we were cynical. But he believed that, he said, he said, he said Doc, we need to keep working. They started working, they went to talk to the legislators, talk to everybody, and finally it, it got passed. The Nigerian democracy, it has the, at the verge of collapse. That's really only those who pretend that it's not about to collapse. And it won't just collapse. The nation might as well collapse with it. There should be a coalition of civil society and political parties, especially opposition political parties, to take seriously the demand of real, not, not peripheral, real electoral reform. The interactive session began with a special tribute honoring the late Ari Yodare Atoye, who had worked tirelessly to address electoral shortcomings. He has lived his life. We are living our lives. How are you living your own life today, for tomorrow? Because Nigeria will go, Nigeria will stay. All of us will come and pass. We are passengers. The 2027 general election is coming at a time where everybody is exhausted. There's a lot, a lot of exhaustion coming from citizens themselves because we are looking and seeing what did we do in 2023 and what happened to the obstacle elections. Some of it has been pointed out already. The judicial independence, no matter how independent you make the judiciary, the person who is occupying the position, unless that person is committed to Nigeria. In as much as we are excited and interested in pursuing electoral reforms, mm. the legal and policy frameworks that we currently have are more than enough. Mm. What we need currently is how to ensure that stakeholders do their own bit. Ariyo believes strongly that the political parties must be compelled to be strengthened. All of us are interested in the beavers, but painfully beavers remain a procurement subject matter. We must work towards a more independent judiciary, and a judiciary that is immune from executive, legislative, and individual interference, and that the, our judicial officers must, must be people who are immune from political interference of any sort. Secondly, we must have an electoral system, an electoral commission that is truly, truly independent, independent in the sense that this commission must be immune from political interference of any sort, and these may require necessary amendments to our existing laws. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.